हेलो गाइस वी आर बैक विद अनदर जीव जी प्रॉब्लम एंड टुडेज प्रॉब्लम इज पॉम्बिटिशन ऑफ गिवन स्ट्रिंग इट्स अ मीडियम क्वेश्चन एंड इट्स मोस्ट आर्स क्वेश्चन इन एमेजोन सिस्को माइक्रोसॉफ्ट मैक क्यू सॉफ्टवेयर ओयो रूम एंड लॉर्ड्स ऑफ थी टॉप एम एन सी कंपनी इट्स आईली आस्क क्वेश्चन सो लेट सी द क्वेश्चन वर्ट्स एक्चुअली क्वेश्चन आस्क लेट्स डाइव इन टू द क्वेश्चन यू हैव गिवन एन स्ट्रिंग एस and you have to print all the permutation of given string and you have to return in the sorted order so let's take an example to understand our question easily so you have given a string abc and you have to find out the all the permutation of this abc so possible permutation of abc is abc itself ecb bsc bca cab and cbm that's the all possible permutation is there and instead of that no any other permutation is available or possible so how can we do that so what you know about so how can we know how can we approach this question so what is on my mind if you notice your permutation start from maybe e your permutation word string can be start from b and c that's the possible way if you able to print uh, find the permutation who started from this a and if you do the computation if if you find all the permutation which started from the b and if you able to find out all the permutation which is starting from c character if you add it all of them if you just aggregate everything and return this you got your answer but how can we know we are able to find out the permutation which is starting from a b and c so I'll, what i'm actually do what i'm actually do i have to only find out i'll just take this a and try to find out and call my recursion hey recursion go and find out this bc permutation and if the and i'm not i was not thinking about that how can i do that if i want to find out the permutation of that b which is starting from the b i have to i have to take this b somewhere else and i have to call it my uh, remaining letters and call it my permutation hey find permutation function just take this ac in the case of b just take the ac and find the perm all the possible permutation if my string length is zero it means it does it does recursion does its work and i have to return it so it's bit a little bit tough to understand right now let's try dive into the code and understand more clearly so for doing i'll just make a mm, I'll just make a vector in which I'm going to store all the answer, and I call it my one function, helping function. Let's say solve function, which taking the parameter s, and instead, actually, it taking the parameter empty. Let me okay. Let me write this, complete this function, then I'll tell you why I'm taking the empty. string also and and what i have to do let's say this solve function return me all the possible permutation okay it return me all the possible permutation so what i have to do and it return the all the permutation find the all the permutation and store into this ans vector so i have to sort this ans vector to so i'll just sort this ans function ans dot and and what after I, what i do i'll just return it so my main duty my main function is writing this solve function or it, that's our main motto so let's it's a void type i'll make it and is take this two parameter once is ans Ah, uh, sorry. Once is string, 
and another is a temporary temp this string actually stored the my temporary answer let's talk about this abc let's say i made if i want to choose any of them what my possibility to choose the element this three i can choose this three element okay let me write the code because without writing the code you you know understand very well so int i is equal to my string is starting from the zero and what i do i have to take the size my string goes why i'm writing this because i want to find out the all the permutation which is started by a b c so how many you how many character is there three character is there so it means i have a three possible v strings which are starting from a which are starting from b and c so that's why it loop going to run three times and i have to take out the character from let's say i want to take out this b so i, I have to some store somewhere else so i'll just store this b into this ch character char variable so how can i do i'll just simply write si it take out this b and store into it and i have to delete this b from this string so how can i do that so i what i do in that case i'll just return it this string and this string and then after can concatenate these both thing both sub strings into one string as doing that i'll remove this b so i'll made it a, another string let's a uh, rest of string in which what i do uh, i'll take the sub str of uh string which is started from 0 to i because i want to it is this i and actually this that's what i write here it's excluded part because sub str take the it's how many character we want from this 0 to this i so this i is uh, excluded part uh, and what i i have to concatenate concatenate with which i can connect with after this so if uh, so i know i if i added this i i want to uh, after this i so how can i do i so in that case what i do i plus 1 i plus 1 let me this enhance the size a little bit actually that's why i'll hear the gfg because it doesn't have a great ui id experience so so that's it rest of string does its work and here i'm not passing any parameter because i want whole string after this i plus 1 and that's why i didn't pass anything so what i do i got a rest of string and i have to call my solve function hey solve function hey recursion do my one jump i handle this ch and what you have to do i'll pass it this rest of string as well as uh, the temp plus into the temp temp initially is empty and i'll edit this ch means i have this added this character in the last of this string i have a let's say some string value and i'll edit it in the last it's actually does its work but how can we stop this thing so whenever if my s dot size is equal to 0 it means i reaches to the end so in that case what i do i have to add this element into the i have to add this element into the uh, my answer and return it from here and that's it guys that's my code let's compile and run and let's submit our code guys and it's work so if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section i resolve your doubt as soon as possible 
and until then keep grinding guys